Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Last spring, there was a video that came out of Canada, just out of the country of Canada. That sounded weird when I said it. But anyway, a video that came from a Canadian publication and it just made us all collectively laugh. Like people on both sides of the aisle thought that it was ridiculous and it's rare that something like that happens. And it was a nice bonding moment, in my opinion, because this thing was so absurd. Well, that ridiculous thing has finally come to an end. And today we're talking about that. Before we do though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Alrighty, so enough with the vague statements about this ridiculous thing. We are talking about the anti-capitalist coffee shop. I'm sure you all saw that video, but if you did not, here's a reminder. Anarchist is a worker-owned, anti-capitalist, anti-colonial cafe, shop, and community space. Gabriel opened the space after leaving Vancouver due to its unwelcoming sense of classism. Though he never felt comfortable working in a coffee shop in BC, he knew if he were to have one of his own, it would have to adopt the values that occupy such a huge part of his life. A place devoted to radical leftist politics, revolution, ending capitalism, improving the world's economic system that benefits everyone and not just elites, and most importantly, sparking conversations that will help implement these ideas. I highly recommend paying a visit to Gabriel at 190 Jarvis street if not for great coffee for even greater conversation it's so stupid now people on the right obviously were saying you can't start an anti-capitalist business it's very easy to be an anti-capitalist within a capitalist system oh we're communists okay well you still started a business utilizing the benefits of the free market you are still selling things you still have to oh pay rent pay your tax like it's you're still operating in that system. That's the most leftist thing I've ever said. And the people on the left were also saying that this was ridiculous and making them look bad because, you know, this man is operating within the capitalist system and engaging within the capitalist system. Like, he literally could not please anyone. And I really loved that because everybody was angry at this weird, bald man making his, like, very, very fancy coffee. Also, it's ironic because we all know every good coffee shop is basically this. Every good coffee shop is just fueled with leftist propaganda. My favorite coffee shops in Boise, Idaho, filled to the brim with leftist propaganda. It was basically like this, like every tote bag you buy, every pin, it was like, mm, I got vaccinated. Like literally they sold like I'm vaccinated pins. The best coffee is made by communists. Communism forever. You don't need to say you're anti-capitalist. We know it. If the coffee is really good and it's in a gentrified area, we know that you're basically a communist. That's the take. But like I said, since the beginning, people have disliked this entire charade. That video we just watched, it came out in May. It was on all different social media platforms, but what we just watched was from TikTok. Somebody said, mm, yes, purchasing anti-capitalist merch, lol. Somebody said, oh God, the irony is palpable. I'll avoid it. Thanks. Somebody said, when your trust fund comes through. Seriously. Somebody else said, exploiting people's political views to sell them overpriced coffee sounds pretty capitalistic to me. It certainly does. Another person said, profit, but make it hipster. You see, it's all about advertising. It's all about the way that they market this. It's like, oh, I want to go support the communists. No, you're really just supporting capitalism, whether you like it or not. Now, on the website, they talk about the features of the shop. So if you want a little more information, they say the cafe founded on a huge amount of experience at the cafe level of the specialty coffee industry, harbinger of gentrification around the globe. <laughs> it really is like... When an area is about to get gentrified, the first thing that goes in is like a killer coffee shop. I aim to serve the most delicious third wave coffee drinks and baked goods and trendy light roast beans while constantly looking for ways to undermine the plethora of toxic, oppressive, exclusive parts of the standard formula. I hope to be a subversive alternative to what we're all used to, but it's a learning process. No purchase or permission is required to use the washroom or hang out in the cafe. You also can just pay what you can when you can which sounds like an incredible business model. <laughs> Investors, I'm sure, loved that. They go on and they talk about the shop. In addition to the usual food and drinks, I carry a selection of radical books, art, stickers, pins, buttons, keychains, jewelry, clothing, and tote bags, and hopefully much more in the future. Painfully aware of the danger of commodifying radical politics. I try to work with small, relatively ethical, it's all relative in capitalism, supplier, creators, keeping prices as low as possible and focusing on getting radical ideas and messages into the hands of anyone who needs them. Obviously seems like an incredibly solid and stable business. Uh, so I was shocked when I saw that it was shutting down. No! I'm sure that that surprised everyone. Here's an article from the same company that talked about its opening and produced that video that went viral. It's from Blog TO, I guess, Blog Toronto. Toronto's proudly anti-capitalist cafe is permanently closing. Imagine that. 
the business that makes no money is closing. They posted a closing statement on the shop's website, which is just hysterical. Closing down. Sadly, The Anarchist will be closing its doors on May 30th. I kind of hate that I'm so excited about a business shutting down because I'm such like a proponent of small business, but this one in particular, I'm like, mm, no, this is really making me happy. It's been an amazing experience connecting with so many great community members, sparking desperately needed debate, raising the blood pressure of conservatives. That includes you, anarcho-capitalists and libertarians, fulfilling the dream of most service workers by not having to tolerate the presence of professional class traders, pigs, and military. <laughs> like what a dick this man is literally an asshole pigs and military not welcome in his coffee shop and experimenting with living and working in ways that don't enthusiastically embrace the pure misanthropy of capitalism unfortunately the lack of generational wealth slash seed capital from ethically bankrupt sources left me unable to weather the quiet winter season or grow in the ways needed to be sustainable longer term okay so obviously he is blaming it on other people not his own fault that the business failed because you told people they didn't have to pay you and because you were anti-capitalist no it's because i nobody would invest in me you're also shaming those those investors no capital from ethically bankrupt sources you're saying that you don't like them but you're also admitting that you wanted their money and the the quiet winter season okay i go to more coffee shops in the winter because i want like a nice warm place to sit down and work it's not the fault of the weather or your generational wealth it's your terrible business sense sir he goes on and says i'd like to say a huge thank you to pop coffee works my coffee supplier and landlords for their generosity and patience they could have easily sold this space or rented for more than twice of what they charged me so this place wouldn't have existed without them they roast the best coffee in the city so please continue to support them if you buy coffee beans i would also like to thank my partners friends family for their huge amounts of support without which i'd honestly be dead or at least unhoused by now you can't even get a job to stay in your freaking apartment You'd be unhoused? Okay. You are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. My awesome suppliers for providing the books, art, and merch that have been such a huge part of what this place is, and all the customers who have given their very vocal and, of course, financial support over the past year. The Anarchist has been a huge success in every way that I hoped, really, and has given me so much inspiration and education that I plan to put to use in my future projects. Keep an eye on the Instagram page to see what I end up doing next. I don't even know what he could do next, because he probably blew all of his savings and his non-existent money on this project that was an utter failure, so he probably has no money. 